I just knocked something? It sounded like it. I'll get it. Hello? No, we didn't see you, Si. No, we didn't see you either. Are you? Okay, see you in a sec. Who was it? The man that you just trapped under that sign. Oh. Oh. Come here, you. Oh, come here, you. Come here, come here, you. Come here. Hello. Do you mind? What are you doing? I'm trying to test all the phone lines in the area. Avoiding the water pipes, of course. Oh, I see. Well, you should hit that pipe just there. What, here? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, it's the least we could do. Now, if you excuse us, we need to get to our office. Go on, Barry, keep up. Right. Looks like rain. Better get a move on. Here we are, our new home. <laughs> oh, there you are, you see? Dan's left a note. Sorry about the lift. You'll have to use the stairs. Good luck with the telesales. I'll call you to see how you're getting on. Dan. Did you leave a key for the box? No. Come on, stairs it is. Second floor up. in here, it's very heavy. Oh, yes. I can see this is going to be very successful. <laughs> there they'll be, Barry. The head of a multinational corporation. Sell, sell. Time to make that meeting, 2.30, not 3 o'clock. Go and book me a car. Bye. No sell. Bye. Buy a thing, goodbye. Keep selling. Bye. Bye. No sell. Bye. I'll probably be on 50,000 a year. What will I be on? Reception downstairs. I should have guessed. We're a proper company now, you know, Barry. Give us a ring when you're all set up. Oh. <laughs> what a mess! Look at the state of Barry's reception. This is no good for business. Uh oh, my phone's not working. upstairs for Barry. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Hey, uh, have you seen any suspicious looking characters hanging about? No. Do you know what's wrong with our telephones? Nothing. Really? Yeah, they're just not connected yet. Silly me. I'll go and tell Paul. Actually, you can help me with this. Oh, okay. 
I'll communicate with Barry by email. Bit more weight in the front, I think. Oh. Hang on a minute. Then I know you. Do you? Yeah, it just struck me. Oh. The phones aren't working. Come upstairs. Oh. Oh. I'm here. Oh, you got my message then? Yeah. And you know what? That telephone engineer we saw earlier is wandering about. Oh, really? And he's really wet. Well, I can't see why. He's hardly bucketing down out there, is it? It did on him. <laughs> no! I think these flowers have been here a bit too long. Now, what we need is a way of connecting those telephones up. What we need is a ladder. Why? See that telegraph pole? Yes. Oh, no. It's very simple. All we've got to do is extend the wire from the pole into the office. Ha-ha! <laughs> Here we are, look, Barry. Grab it. Shouldn't we ask somebody if we can borrow it first? Nobody about, is there? Anyway, we'll have it back in five minutes. Come on. I suppose you want me to go up the ladder? Well, I can't. I'm afraid of heights. Is it vertigo? No, no, it's only about five metres. Off you go. Can you hold it still? Yep. Can you see that red wire on your left? My left or your left? Your left and my left. Right. Got it. Right. Now, you see the white wire on your right? My right? Yes, your right. What about? What do you mean, what about? You said I'm right. What am I right about? You're right about nothing. I'm talking about the white wire on your right. Right. I'm wrong. Of course you were. Now, connect the top of the red wire on the left to the top of the white wire on the right. That should do it. Right, that should do it. Actually, on second thoughts, I think it might be the bottom of the red wire on the left to the top of the white wire on the right. Right. Wrong. Now, you see that green wire? No, 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 the other one. But well, whatever you do, don't touch it. Ah! That should do it. Now we'll just go and plug the other end in. Oh, 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 oh! There, that's fixed. Now all we need to do is wait for Dan to fall. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Oh, just a minute. Hello. Could I please have my ladder back? Wait there. Here you go. Steady, 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 steady. Right, put it down. Up you go. Up your end. There. You can come down now. Where's he gone? I'm over here. Oh, round here. Come here. Come here. You stupid thing. How many times do I have to tell you? You can't go to me, to me, to me, to me on a job like this. How are we going to get him down? I know. We'll get him in through the window. Come on. One be a minute. <laughs> now, don't worry. <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know. Probably got fed up of hanging around. Ah, well, as long as he's all right. Anyway, I think I should phone Dan and get that box opened. Oh, good. Try to find out what we're supposed to be selling while you're at it. Hmm. Hello? Who oh, is that, Dan? Yeah, we've got a problem. Yeah, 
The problem is, we've been cut off. No, the problem is we haven't got a key to the box. No, we've been cut off. Somebody's cut the line. Do you mind? I was in the middle of a very important top-level phone call. You can't just attach a phone to the network and expect to be able to make calls. Can't we? You two should be locked up. Why, we've broken the law. No, I just think you should be locked up. The thing is, we've got to make a phone call to Dan the Van to get the key for this box. So can we use your phone, then? <laughs> you must be joking. I wouldn't lend you to anything if my life depended on it. Is that a no, then? Yes. No. Yes, it's a no. Anyway, it contravenes local regulation, paragraph 13, subsection 12. <laughs> what? Subsection 12! <laughs> what? No telephone engineer may perform his duties dressed as a rabbit! <laughs> Subsection 11, then. Oh. Oh. Anyway, I've got more phone lines to test. Oh. Goodbye! Come on, Barry. We need to find a phone. Hey, we can phone Dan from here. Have you got 10p? Uh, no. Oh dear, oh dear. Tell you what, go and get some tools so we can wire our telephone to this telephone here. And get some cutters so we can open this box. What are you going to do? Supervise, from here. Yeah, all I need to do now is push the wires underneath the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be quite a delicate operation, so I'll be using the uh, R73 screwdriver. <laughs> okay, bye. There we are. Dan said his phone us, now he can. He's probably been trying all day. Sounds familiar. We can start making our phone calls as well to the customers. As soon as we've got that box open. How are you doing? Not bad. Hello? 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 I can't hear you. Is that Dan? I don't think you've wired it up properly. Of course I have. I just need to, um... Oh. Oh. Here, you have a go. Hello? I can't hear him. Hello? Oh, I think it must need a bit of oil. Try this. Yeah, will you please speak up? Yeah, I, I think I know who might be behind this. Hello, operator? Yes, I'd like to speak to an engineer. No, it's one particular engineer. What's he like? What's he like, Maddy? Um, he's about five foot eleven. He's five foot eleven. He's covered in oil. He's covered in oil. And he's standing right next to you. And he's standing right next to me. Um, it's all right. I think I found him. Hello. I might have known it would be you two. You want your tools back? What do you do with my tools? Uh, and what have you done to this phone box? Hello? 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 It's coming from inside the box. Yeah, let me have a go. Has 
That's what Dan wanted to sell. Hello? Right. Hello? I'm cutting you two off for good. Hello? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. You idiot! Which one of these is mine? Right! You've electrocuted me. You've dropped me from a great height. You've soaked me and you've covered me in oil. I have had enough! Being cut off again. I know. We'll get through the window and go down the ladder. Come on. Right, come on. Hey, Paul. I've just thought of something. What? Remember that ladder? What about it? Oh, well, we broke it, didn't we? Oh dear, oh dear. How are we going to get down? For you. For me? No. For you. For me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I've just been dropping off some rubbish. A problem at the hole? Yeah, well, somebody walked off with my tools. A gas leak. That's serious. I'll be right there. Gas leak, you say? Hey, I'm good with gas. Always remember, if it's dark down the hole, light a match. <laughs> hey, Paul. I've just found this note. It's from Dan. Yeah, that idiot was right for once. It is dark in here. So what did the note say? He said to dump all the phones. He's dropping out of telesales and going into computers. He reckons the internet's about to explode. I've got a feeling that's not the only thing. <laughs> 